In this video, we will review adding and editing content on your website pages. First, go to your administrator login page and enter in your username and password. You will be directed to your administration console where you will work within the website architecture at the bottom of the screen. First, to directly insert text content into your web page, find the page within your website architecture. Your architecture is set up in five layers. The main options are your navigation across the top of your website and any call to action button sections. To find the page, first click on the section that that page is in. To edit the contact information, I will click the pencil icon to the right of that page name. On this screen, I can change the name of the page, insert a header, and edit my page content. To add text content directly into the page, I will go to the page content box and place my cursor where I would like to enter the text. And simply type as if I am using a Word document. If I would like to edit the style of the text I have entered, I will do so with the WYSIWYG tool. You will see that many of the stylized options are the same as a Word document. If your changes have been made, go to the bottom of the page and click Update Option. And my page has been updated. To view the page, click the magnifying glass to the left of the page name and we will see the content that I directly typed in the page content box. To paste from Word or paste as plain text, you will have to have your content saved in either a Word document or a plain text document. For this example, we will add a page under the Services to Armed Forces and add the content that I have saved in a Word document military outreach. I will go to the actual Word document which I have opened in another window. Highlighting and using control C, I will then go back to my administrator console and place my cursor in the page content box. At the top of the WYSIWYG tool there is a paste from Word icon. Click this and a new window appears. Place your cursor within the box and use Control V to paste the content that you had copied. Make sure that both boxes are checked and click OK. Your text has been added to the console. You can create sub option and your page has been created. To view the page, Click the magnifying glass to the left of the page name. If you had this text saved in a plain text format, you would use the same process of control C to copy. And this time you would click the icon paste as plain text and use control V and OK. Here you will see that all of the formatting that you had in the Word document is no longer visible. If I click the magnifying glass, we will see the plain text version. In order to style this document, I will have to go in and use the WYSIWYG options. With this in mind, if there is a lot of special spacing or characters, the paste from Word may be the best option for you. Now using the same military outreach page, we will insert an image into the content. Click the pencil icon next to the page where you would like to insert your image. You will see the text within your content box. Find where you would like to place your image and place the cursor there next to that text. Next you will click the icon insert edit image in your WYSIWYG tool. 
Before you can ever load an image into your content, you, you must first upload it to the Chapter Neighborhood server. Click Browse Server, and you will see the images that are already loaded into the server for your website. If you do not see the image that you would like to upload, you can either create a new directory to save this image, or you can upload it directly into the same folder that holds your current images. In order to upload an image into a different folder, click that folder in the folders list. Now go to the bottom of the screen and click Browse with the upload image. Find your image on your desktop and click Upload. Once your image has been uploaded, you will see a message letting you know the task is complete. If you see here, the image dimensions are 350 by 233 pixels. When you upload images to your server, you want to make sure that they are web optimized size-wise before you load them into the server. Many of the images that you will have will be upwards to 1400 pixels across. Your browser window for your website is 712 pixels across. Anything larger than that will stretch your window. A good rule of thumb is that images anywhere from 200 to 400 pixels across will look nice on your website. If I click back to gallery, I will see the image I just uploaded. Clicking on the image, I get a preview of that image. Here I can add a border to my image and change the spacing. If I am going to later come in and make this image a hyperlink, for example, if I have a sponsor logo and I would like to link to that sponsor's website, but I do not want a blue box around the border of that picture once the hyperlink is inserted, I will want to make sure that this border is set to zero. I want this picture to be in line with the text on the page. And so I'm going to select a line to the right. And I'm going to add in some horizontal space and vertical space so that it is not right on the text of my website. Once I have added my image, I can go and click Update Suboption. To view the page, I will click the, eye, the magnifying glass to the left of the page. And there my image is inserted. If you load an image that is large, like the 1400 pixel across images, and then resize them later once you load them into your website, you may sometimes notice that your images load one bar at a time. That is because the image is taking up more bandwidth than is necessary, and if you resize the image to be web optimized between 200 and 400 pixels, that web loading will not happen. Next, we will look at adding hyperlinks into our content. First, find the page in your website architecture that you would like to add the hyperlink into and click the pencil icon to the right. Next, find the text in your content that you would like to turn into the hyperlink. Here, we will select redcross.org. Click the Insert Edit Link button in your WYSIWYG tool. A box will pop up asking you what your link type is. You can have a URL to a website, an anchor in the text, or an email address. This will be a URL. We will enter the URL into the text box and click OK. If you are using Firefox, when you click OK, the box will remain open, but you will see the text has been turned into a hyperlink. With Firefox, you must then cancel and re-highlight your text. Click the Edit Insert link and re-paste or re-enter your URL. This is only with Firefox. And click the OK. This time when the box disappears, you know that the link has been inserted correctly. If you would like the link to open in a new page, In your Edit Insert Link button, you will select Target, and on that tab, go down to the New Window option. 
and click OK. Go to the bottom of your page and select Update Suboption. Now when I view the page, the hyperlink will open up into the new link that I selected. You can add hyperlinks to images in the same way. Click the pencil icon and select the image that you would like to be a hyperlink. Click the Add Edit Hyperlink button and enter the information as before. You may also add a table into your content box. To add a table, click Find the page that you would like to add the table to and click the pencil icon to the right of that page's name. You can insert a table using the Insert Edit Table button. Click it and a window will pop up asking you to fill in the number of rows, columns, border size, alignment, spacing, and the width. Specify all of this information and your table will be created. In order to type within the table, you will place your cursor within the cell space and use your keyboard to type. Once I have entered my table and the information, I will click Update option at the bottom of the page. This covers adding and editing content into your pages. If you have additional questions, please feel free to contact us or create a support help ticket.